Yes, I think campaigning. Um, there's some examples I can think about of some wonderful women. One woman who'd had breast cancer in South Wales and she um, um, campaigned for a particular drug. The issue about uh, modern day politics is very interesting based on that very intelligent question because basically um, very often people now will just take one issue and become political about it. Uh, there's another very prime example. There was a very interesting consultant from uh, a hospital in Worcester who became an independent MP based on the saving of his hospital in Worcester. But that was his only cause. Now the problem, sorry, the challenge for that is that you're only doing that one cause. What are you going to do about all the others? And it's much easier being an independent because you've got nobody to, um, no, no sort of parameters. And in many respects, you know, People think it's a good thing. Well, democracy should be diverse anyway. I haven't got any problem with it, but it's much easier being an independent because you can say what the hell you like and you don't have to answer to anybody. In a political party, obviously there are structures, there are modes of behaviour and, and types of situations, but you know we are fairly free and free thinking in our party, whereas some of the others may be very constrained. But you've got what is called a whip. Now, the whip is a whip but not physically, but it's like having a whip, you know, if you're voting, if you belong to a political party, unless you have a very um, um, good reason, morally, why you can't, you know, you are expected to toe the line and go along with the whip of the party. Particularly when you've got um, uh, the possibility, like when we were in, in government with the Labour Party, um, there were only one or two votes in it, so we had a three-line whip, which meant you had to be there all the time. You couldn't move, you couldn't breathe, you had to be there to vote at every given opportunity, um, and that was obviously quite constraining.